Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, I was originally going to start out this episode uh, showing off some cardiograph G imagery that I have of the land. I have uh, not a lot of it mapped out. I'd say a thousand by a thousand or so, but last we left off we found that village. Um, in the meantime, I also found a separate village. I found a sand temple and a sand village, that's the separate village, uh, an extreme sand biome um, where we originally started in our winter biome I found a forest right next door so we have this uh, very large plains that will give us perfect opportunity to build all of our buildings uh, that we actually are going to start building today hopefully I can create some sort of story and background and everything um, I did change my skin. Uh, I'm quite proud of this. I made this myself. It is my night skin. Sounds like skeletons are possibly burning or something. But, uh, yeah, he's kind of like, um, I got the idea from Chivalry. Uh, I play that game a lot, and the same tag I have here, you can find me on Chivalry. Okay, it's night time, good. So let's take a nap. There are monsters nearby. Oh, hello. Come here. That should be the other one. So today, I kind of want to create some farms and I have a great place to have these farms oh, uh, it's my nice little tree farm going on here since I'm gonna need a lot of wood I have not found a jungle biome yet so I would not have the opportunity to have red wood so we can just replace that later on Uh, once we find the jungle biome. So I'm just really wary of these uh, creepers. And here it is. I made this uh, nice flat area that uh, we can probably build a small farmhouse on. Because what I'm thinking is that they can use this uh, water source right here. Uh, like this small lake, which we can later harvest for the clay that's inside of it. and possibly bring down or build upon and build something else in the distance but just not too far away is a river that goes straight through the desert biome that's right over this hill that you see and right over top of my pillars I use these pillars for uh, well I go as far as I possibly can see from the original pillar uh, as long as it has a hilltop uh, it, it I use these pillars as an indicator to find my way home Hopefully that finds its way into the recording. But later on we can uh, dig this down and we can possibly you know, make a bigger river to the other river that's on the other side of these hills over here. But right now we're going to use a little RP and imagination and uh, we'll say that these peasant settlers have been uh, traveling to escape some tyranny from some direction I have not yet decided and uh, since water is a very big thing to have we'll make it that uh, they're gonna use this water for crops they'll use it for um, all of their different farms for the animals we'll create a separate tree farm that we'll be able to later use for our own personal harvesting uh, as well as all the animals and food and everything obviously so let's start off uh, that's a good distance away from the water that they want to be over within, uh, you know, somewhat walking distance away from here. And, uh, let's start out with some regular wood for this uh, farmhouse that I got here. And, uh, I'm just off the side on my computer because I have, um, already prepared 
some ideas for these farmhouses. So these farmhouses will probably be seven. I want I want a five interior, so I want seven on either side. So uh, I guess seven by seven will do fine. Let's make sure that's five. Oh wow, I can't count. Still can't count. Okay. And I, I've harvested a little bit of wood for us. Just a little bit for us to, to use. And we'll leave his door open in this direction. And I think uh, we'll put all his farms and plantations and things over here so that. Uh, It'll be close to the water, and it'll be easier for him to harvest. I'm going to grab a bunch of dirt. I think I will level this out a little bit. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yep. So let's go up uh, three blocks total, and we'll leave spaces for windows, which um, the peasant houses will not be too extensive since uh, they lack the money and their ability to receive some of the other higher class items right now such as glass. We're gonna make that a uh, predominant oh, monetary figure at the moment. Um, trying to think of where else to put these windows. Let's put the windows here and here. Hopefully that's even on the inside. A lot of wood already. I may have to go back and get more wood. <laughs> that is even. Okay, good. Put that one and this one. So, let's move this one over. Okay. So what we'll use instead of uh, windows here, we'll put uh, either fence post or... Yeah, fence post. That's probably best. And I want to make it a hay roof. I need to uh, go gather some sheep and we'll get some yellow wool and we'll use that as hay. Uh, so temporarily we'll just leave it like this since there's nobody living in here. And uh, they didn't really take the time to accommodate the flooring of their homes, so we can leave it as dirt for now. Um, I'll put a bed. Let's put a uh, crafting bench. Hmm, let's put that. So let's put the bed here. He'll be a farmer. We'll put his wife right next to him. He may not have any kids yet. No, he'll probably have kids. So we'll put a couple beds in here. A bed like right here and bed right here. That works. All the beds on this side. Put a chest here. His workbench here. I guess we could put a table here. And two chairs. So let's put two chairs. Okay. He's living at large, he's got chairs. I know that's a higher commodity for most of these lower class people. Uh, double chest. That'll be good. And then, uh, so we'll put a yellow roof over top. Yeah, that'll do. Let's make ourselves a door, cover that up. and the door will be on the outside. Good, good, okay. So, let's uh, cut real quick and we'll go fill this in and we'll come right back and uh, we'll get some iron and stuff and uh, we will make our farm. We'll build uh, two separate patches, I think, uh, maybe 10 by 10. Two 10 by 10s for wheat. Maybe four 10 by 10s by wheat. 
Yeah, that sounds much better. Let's do that. And uh, I think we'll just do it on this lower level. And we'll cut this back. And we'll make uh, some paths and everything for the water. So let's go do that. And uh, we'll see you right back. Alright, thanks for joining us. Back again. Well, welcome back again, everybody. Um, I didn't really add anything, and the pig got inside of the house. Interesting. So, I made our crop plan. Uh, I think we can make the outsides for a second building pretty close. I think, you know, right, right near this one, I think. So, let's see. Helps when you do it right. Okay. That's right. Okay. Got fair pig. Get off, pig. Uh, pretty much. I know I have an axe and I'm not using it yet. So let's make this exactly like this one. Okay, there we go. Let's put our chairs over here, just like the other one. I think that one's bigger by a block. Oh well, not a big deal. This will just be a smaller farmhouse for a smaller family. Yep, this would just be a single farmer, and uh, for now, you be single, quite literally single. Okay, we're gonna have to put uh, some fencing around here to protect these crops, prevent them from uh, getting trampled on by these these piggies. Then, um, I think what we can do is that we can clear some of this out, let's see. Okay. And then we will make ourselves a windmill. That way they can turn some of this wheat. Yep, there we go. There's our wheat. This wheat into actual bread or flour and then bread, but we need a bakery for that. So we need uh, we need a lot of stuff still, but this is a good uh, start to our episode. We will have to also create our season, I should say. So I think what we can do is we can create another farm because this is a good wheat farm, but. I think we might be able to put a house right here and then this house can help man a windmill. We can put it right here. It'll be a small little windmill. Let's see. A little bit of lag. 
Okay. So I built one before. Let's see, we want this to be the windmill portion. We can level it out later. We want this to be an open room where I can grind everything. So it needs to be a three no. Just has to be a one opening. Yep. So let's put our wood down underneath. Okay, then we'll put a door here. And we're all out of wood. Well, what we'll do is that we will, as soon as we get this door up, I think what we can do is this. That's fine. Like this, and this. We might probably cut this down too. Make this a half lab or something. Okay, so we'll take out this piece as well, and this will turn out to be yellow wool, because that will be where the wheat is being grinded. And we can put some fence posts going down. And this will just be a very simple windmill. We'll make it so it uh, tapers up a little bit on the corners. And at the top, it'll come out, and we have to determine where the wind is coming from. So the wind is pushing this way, and they will know that. So the wind has to go like this, uh, yeah, like that. So we will have the the wind, the sail part, facing out this way, and we'll have it turning in this direction the clouds are all moving that way, wind is pushing the clouds that way, wind will push the windmill in this direction. Yeah, so let's go uh, harvest some wood and fix this up and we'll build ourselves another home. I'm not going to use any of this other wood just yet. Uh, I want to save this for some more complicated buildings. Yeah, let's go do that. To be continued. Oh no, whatever will become of Show Assassin? Will he wake up? What will he build next? Stay tuned. In the center of your screen is a playlist for Santeria. In the bottom left is our playlist from our new series, Warcraft, Orcs and Humans. And in the bottom right is another series, Kerbal Space Program, Mission Possible. Now I'm revamping that just a little bit, so stick with me for any future episodes. Thanks for watching.